Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Braxton Kirsting and I'm here with MLC CAD Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at SOLIDWORKS Composer and more specifically the Digger tool. To activate the Digger tool, we can go to our Home tab on our ribbon and select the Digger command. Alternatively, we could use the spacebar to activate it or deactivate the Digger tool. Now first off, it's going to just be a zoomed in view that zooms into the center of where the Digger tool is placed. So if I move it around on my model, I'll get a nice detailed view of that area. However, if I want to view a specific area, I need to activate the Digger tools by clicking on the small wrench at the top left of the Digger window. And then I'll have the ability to position it by using the bottom right plus icon and clicking and dragging to position where the digger is going to focus. Once my center of interest is determined for my digger tool, I can control the zoom level in two different manners. One, I can just zoom in and zoom out on the model and that will control the zoom level in the digger tool. Alternatively, we could use the slider on the right side of the digger tool to control the zoom level. Also, if we want to resize the diameter of our digger tool, we can use the little bar on the left side to click and drag to change the diameter. Now zooming isn't the only function of the digger tool that we have available to us. We also have what we call the onion skin. Now this will selectively hide parts in the level that they are based on the camera view. So the parts closest to the camera get hidden as we slide the bar. We also have what we call the x-ray function which is the same as the onion. It will hide parts as they appear closest to the camera, but it also leaves a translucent version of that part based on the zoom level. Now since the onion function and the x-ray function hide parts that are closest to the camera based on the zoom level, there might be some parts that we wanna hide selectively, which we can do so from the viewport and it'll show that way correctly in our digger tool. Once we're satisfied with the parts that we want to show, for instance, we want to show the batteries in this compartment, I'll use the tools at the bottom of my digger tool to capture the image so that it stays put, regardless if the model moves in the paper space. Now that we have our 2D image captured, I'm gonna go ahead and save the view so we can take a look at the last feature of the digger tool, which is the cutting plane. The way the cutting plane feature works with the digger tool is that it'll actually take a plane that's parallel to your view on your screen and cut through the model based on the zoom level. So as you can see here, it's parallel to my screen and maybe not be the right angle that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate the top view so I can get a nice straight on look at my flashlight. With my view orientation the way I want it, I can now change the depth of my cut plane by using the right slide bar and now I can position it just so that I get a cut through the middle of my flashlight head. Using the light bulb icon at the bottom of our digger tools we can click and drag it to position a sort of directional light based on the position of our digger tool. However if you don't like the light in the position or you decide your lighting was right the way it was before you can simply click and drag the light bulb and drag it outside the digger diameter and the light will be removed. With the lock tool, we can actually lock the depth of our cutting plane into our part as well as the orientation so that when we rotate our model around, the cutting plane doesn't change with our camera angle. This concludes our introduction into using the digger tool with SolidWorks Composer. If you'd like to see more of these tips and tricks videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.